Award-winning theatre company, North Manchester Amateur Operatic and Dramatic Society, are once more bringing the stage version of critically acclaimed TV show The Vicar of Dibley to North Manchester. The three episodes performed this time will be Engagement, Dibley Live and Love and Marriage. Tickets are priced £9 and £7 concessionary and will be performed at the Simpson Memorial Hall on Moston Lane from Wednesday the 22nd to Saturday the 25th of March at 730 and there is a, two, a matinee on the Saturday at 230 Tickets can be purchased on, through the website, which is www.nmaods.com. That's nmaods.com, or by ringing the ticket line. Where is it happening? Um, it's based at, uh, we're doing this at the Simpson Memorial Hall on Moston Lane. Um, and so, with it being kind of, with us being from North Manchester, um, that's why we've come to see you. Of course, um, on North Manchester 106.6 yeah. FM. Indeed. <laughs> and uh, the Simpson Memorial Hall, where, we, where we've been based for nearly 98 years now. How long? 98 years. I didn't know you were that old. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> well. yeah, yeah. I just uh, had to say that, you know. No, that's fair enough. I, I, I set you up for that, didn't I? So, you, you did. Know, I, yeah. I, I threw the ball in the air for you. Um, yeah, we're, we're 100 years old as a society. Okay. In uh, it's 2019, and we've been, we've been rehearsing at the Simpson Memorial all that time. Even though, we, even though we've kind of performed in other places, uh, we've been performed at the Palace Theatre, the Opera House, Royal Northern College, College of Music. These days, not as much, <laughs> obviously, um, but uh, we've always rehearsed at the Simpson. Okay, so while we're talking about um, your dramatic operatic society, mm -hmm. or however you say it, because it's a bit of a long sentence, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Do you want to just tell me a bit more about the organisation? Yeah, sure. We're a non-profit society, so uh, any any kind of um, when it's profit we do make is put towards uh, the next show. Um, so nobody actually takes any money out. You know, we've got a committee, and we've got members, um, all who pay to be a part of the society, um, and we've had some recent bad times. Uh, we're heavily in debt for a few reasons. However. Because we've done kind of television shows uh, like uh, Hello Hello uh, that Kelly was in as well. Um, we've done Faulty Towers. So gradually, we're now um, in the black, doing quite well. We're looking forward to a really r rosy future. But we nearly folded folded about four five years ago. But we decided to give it one last chance. Oh well, I'm glad you managed to turn things around because yeah, that's do. good. So, do you have many people from North Manchester that are part of you? Yeah, we we, we have a, a large amount actually, um, and that that forms the main basis of uh, the membership. Um, I mean, yeah, but with amateur operatics and dramatics you do get people kind of from different areas kind of um, coming to do a show with you then they'll go to another one and different societies but we, we have got a, a membership who just are North Manchester's um, but there is yeah quite a lot from North Manchester and, and I'm from North Manchester myself yeah okay so are you all a bit wild then as well well, Kelly is. Is she? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she's... Uh, Only on stage. Yeah. Well, you know. Because I know one of the songs you've chosen is Wild Thing. Mm -hmm. So I believe that's part of the play as well. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a song that's played during uh, the wedding scene between Hugo and Alice. It's their uh, marching down the aisle anthem. Is it the recessional they call it or something? Or yeah, I think, I think so, they call yeah. it the recessional thing. Yeah. I'm not as up on my church terms, so yeah. <laughs> should so be. It's only because I've done the order of service in the programme oh, okay. that, I, that I know that. I wouldn't have had a clue otherwise. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we'll play that song and then we'll have another chat afterwards. Great. Sounds good. So that was a good song. The Wild Thing was a good, great, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So, you're the Vicar of Dibbler. I am indeed. <laughs> so, what do you think about that role? Oh, I, it's just, it's been an absolute dream. It's, I, I've, I've always wanted to play the Vicar of Dibbler just because she's such an iconic character and obviously played by the wonderful, amazing Dawn French in the TV show, who is an absolute idol of mine. Um, she's just 
she's always funny and she's also representing the big girls as well, which I like. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she's just... It, it, it's, it's always funny. It's always funny. I mean, the show itself as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's just... It's constantly funny. I mean, you, you're in rehearsal every day and there's not a time where I think, oh, God... Gosh, you know, do I have to go to rehearsal now? It's mm. it's. It's been an absolute hoot from the beginning, and that that normally kind of um, translates to the performances. So, I mean, I've done a few shows where it's been quite kind of stead and boring during rehearsal, and then when um, it goes on stage, it's, that it's remained that way. But this has been an absolute joy to rehearse. It's just it's such a laugh, yeah. and um, we know that'll translate to the performances on the night as well. Mm. So talking of rehearsals, so have they been fun for everybody, or has anybody sort of like I've had enough? <laughs> uh, We've had no big dramatics, have we? <laughs> no, no, not. You've not had so. no big dramatics in your dramatic society, and yeah. that no. doesn't sound good. That well, not this time. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few in the past. Yeah, I've got a few stories, but um, no, there's, there's been no no one getting annoyed. It's the, the, even the directors kind of remained quite pleasant for this one. So, <laughs> <laughs> who's the director? Uh, the director is Vanessa Randall. She she's been in operatics for a long, long time. Um, and she's actually one of our life members, which means she doesn't pay any uh, membership. Um, and it's kind of like a thank you mm. for all your hard work. She's contributed in so many other ways. She, she has. Yeah. I mean, she's directed our last kind of five plays, I think it yeah. is. I think she's directed five. And, you know, uh, and it isn't easy adapting a TV show to the stage, and you've got to have quite a bit of imagination to do that. And with amateur society, societies not having um, a, a West End budget, anywhere near you, you, yeah. you have to be really creative with, with how you bring that to the stage and she's done really well and you know she's uh, this one's got its challenges as well but she's thought of everything get everything sorted out yeah sorted us out definitely kept us in line yeah <laughs> so is there anybody else you want to m mention that's in the play yeah we've got um i mean i i play jim trot as i said Okay. Um, the uh, no 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 yes yes guy uh, got Martin. How, how do you say it properly as part of the thing? <laughs> uh, well, the, the uh, you yeah. go no 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 no. So it, that that is actually harder to do than it actually sounds. Believe me. So it's no 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 no. Because he could be tempted just to go no 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 no, but he doesn't actually do that. He kind of it 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 goes all over the show. He's no 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 no, and a bit of a laugh with it as well. You know, okay, I won't try and do it again. It's more difficult. I'll <laughs> oh, go on, give it a go. <laughs> it's taken me about two years to get anywhere near. Yeah. Uh, Martin Taylor's playing um, Owen Newitt. Um, Martin was one of the uh, players that was nominated for uh, playing Owen Newitt last time we did it. He was nominated for uh, an award. Um, uh, we've got uh, Dave Long, who's playing Frank Pickle. Uh, sadly, Dave can't pronounce his H's. <laughs> Okay. So the character's quite well spoken. Goes, I'd like a hotel, but Dave Long being Dave Long, it says I'd like an hotel. <laughs> um, but when, when he played Manuel in uh, Faulty Towers, um, we actually started calling him Mankwell because it's like <laughs> Mr. Volta. Right. You know, he, did, he still did really well though. Um, so what does Stephen Chandler play? Stephen Chandler in this one isn't playing anything for us. Um, he Aww. is. Um, doing a really important task which, which is backstage we couldn't do without that okay uh, because of the changes that need to be made you know if you don't have a, back, a backstage team you've ruined that you really yeah exactly and with this one with it being obviously adapted from a TV show there's mm. a lot of scenes where in the show you can obviously just cut to the next scene whereas when you're on stage you kind of have to have a blackout and then it's all quick change just to try and make it that much smoother so it's important that we've got people yeah and <laughs> Steve's really Steve. good at it as well yeah oh, that's brilliant they're really conscientious as well because yeah. I know in the past when there's, you've had players on it's him that's usually said can you make sure you promote this can you make sure you promote this but you I haven't mm. always spoken to anybody or done an interview so it's good that you've come into the studio today it's a pleasure to, to come chat. in yeah great great to so i know there's another song drugs don't work what's that about <laughs> i'll let you explain okay. that one um, why is that in the show well it's when hugo um who's hugo horton who's david horton's son um it's his turn on the radio doing dibley live 
So he's had a message from some uh, listener who's um, talking about, I think it's his, his friend or his wife. It's, it's the wife talking about the fact that her husband's on your medication. Yeah, so, so as, as medication is a link, he plays the drugs don't work. Hugo being Hugo, not not very tactful. Really. Messes it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So we'll play that in a moment. But meanwhile, if you're listening out there, go and grab yourself a pen and paper because we'll give you a bit more details to, that you might want to write down so that you can ring up or look on the internet. So if you get your piece of paper while this song's playing, then we'll have the details afterwards, which I think is good. So do you just want to um, remind me, when is this play, Vicar of Dibley, being shown? Um, it's um, Wednesday, it's, uh, Wednesday the 22nd of March till Saturday the 22nd. Um, so it's each night, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we've got a matinee on the Saturday as well. So it's 7.30, isn't it, on yeah. the evenings? That's and right, then, yep. Was it 2.30? 2.30 for the matinee, yeah. yeah. That's right. So it's yeah. 2.30... Too <laughs> I was just giving you my jokes already. <laughs> I'll, I'll write that one down for later if that's all right. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, you know, it, it was it's quite about good, drama, though. isn't it's it? It's quite good, yeah, yeah. So it's, I'm like trying to join yeah. in here with the yeah. sort of different ways we'll of We'll do the rest after things. the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will be good. If you buy a ticket and come, we'll write it in the script. <laughs> that's a good idea, that. Oh, yeah. So... Talk about tickets, how much are they and how do people get hold of them? Uh, well, the tickets are £9 for a normal ticket and £7 for concessions. You can order them from the website, which is... It's www.nmaods.com. So that's, uh, that's our initials. It's North Manchester Amateur Operatic and Dramatic Society which is nmaods.com or you can telephone the ticket line that's 0161 653 7728 OK, so some people might think they still seem quite dear tickets but they're not really when you sort of think about big shows that are out there and what you know, yeah, people I mean, can go to shows in like Palace Theatre or Opera House. You're I mean, like forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even plays, you're still playing quite quite a lot, but you'll still enjoy ours. Maybe, maybe, maybe more than you would enjoy theirs. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And and the level of performance, even though we're amateur, we put a heck of a lot into it. Yeah, everyone takes uh, it very seriously. You know, serious, yeah, so. yeah. So we may be amateur by name. But by performance, we certainly are. You know, we yeah. give it everything. We do. Well, there was... Um, now, I can't remember what the stories are now, but there was, like, things like professionals built the Titanic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But unprofessionals, like, built the Ark. Yeah? Right. So yeah. there's some sort of theory that professionals aren't always the best. Right. Great. So that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm glad you're going in that direction. I was, I was so wondering some... where it was going, but it went in the right direction. Yeah. So that's where I was going, yeah. 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 So I'm happy with that analogy. Yeah. You like that idea? <laughs> yeah. We'll use that again. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the money from the tickets, where does that go? OK, well, we um, all, because we're amateur, nobody makes a profit from it. Um, it all goes towards the next show. I mean, there's some people who earn money from it, as in we pay for certain things, like we pay maybe for a stage manager or some scenery or something. Um, some of the profit from the Vicar of Dibley is going to Comic Relief. That's what we had to get in, wasn't it? That's what we had to get in. Indeed. So yeah. ca can people wear the red noses? Uh, we'd like it if you did, <laughs> but not the ones that go, mm-hmm. <laughs> that might be a bit distracting during yeah, the performance. Yeah. Was that honk? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it was. Not, not my voice going, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what we like. <laughs> well, we're having a bit of fun, so I take it that's the sort of fun that you're having on the show as well. Even more. I mean, it's a funny script. I mean, my character Jim Trot gets absolute plum lines. He doesn't say much, but when he does, they really yeah, suck it to him, don't they? Creep out yeah. of nowhere and just yeah. take you by surprise. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. uh, but well, it I mean, the quite script funny. writers are just amazing. It's only I think it's only when you do this kind of thing that you realise how good the script writers are. Yeah. Um, you know, and a lot of it's quite subtle, even though a lot of it, like Alice and Owen, aren't subtle whatsoever. No. You know, 
Um, but I mean, when people come and see these TV adaptations, they've got a, they, they've got a certain kind of idea of what they want things to be. Mm. And so you've got to do a certain amount of kind of mimery in a way, haven't you? Yeah. But if you don't bring your own characterisation to it as well, I don't. I, I think that kind of cheats the audience in a way a bit. Yeah. What exactly. No, I completely agree. I think if you went into it saying, "Well, I'm going to do a slightly more serious vicar in this one," then people would feel as if they've paid for something that wasn't what they hoped for but but you, you you're not you're you're not um Dawn French I'm not no sadly the chap who played Jimmy <laughs> I can't remember his name so we can't do it 100% like but we, we do it as much as we can but we, we also do our own little bits as well you yeah know? exactly you know yeah because it's not just a mime show is it at the end of the day no it's not it's you not know? well mimic that show. Sounds... sorry not a mime show because <laughs> there's talking isn't it it's a mimic <laughs> <laughs> Sounds if you've been having a lot of fun and you're going to have Definitely. a lot more fun next week. Yeah. So I hope loads of the people out there mm -hmm. will ring up and buy all your tickets so you're sort of mega busy. Indeed, we've been doing this 98 years now, so we know we know how to put on a good gig. That's good. <laughs> so I'd just like to thank you very much for coming along to Thanks the studio today. To be here, yeah. So thank you. I'll have to think of another song to play now.